my uh, Hey guys, so you just saw the intro of the shooting range video that I'm about to show you. I got some range footage, you know, and giving you my first impressions because I want to call this like a first impressions kind of video because this is the first time that I ever shoot the FNX. Um, I got some good things about it and I got some bad things about it. Um, and the bad things about it is really not the gun. It's more me. Um, I'm not going to defend FN in any way because I know that they're a good company, but I'm not going to defend them just to give a good first impressions. Um, um, so, you know, like the things that I didn't like about it, that's just the way the pistol is. And, it, you know, every hand is different. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, some a few things that I didn't like about it. Um, but overall it's it's a great gun and this isn't a dislike video guys I'm, I'm just gonna tell you what i need to improve on to make this gun better for me so before you hit that dislike and say hey, you're just knocking on fn you know you don't know how to shoot right or whatever you know i'm still learning and uh and i believe that if uh, you're watching youtube videos you're learning as well um if not uh, if you're a pro then hey more power to you but uh I'm learning uh, just as much as you are, and uh, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the things that uh, that I could change on, on myself and uh, to make this gun better for me. So I, I'm going to let you watch this video here uh, real quick and uh, let you see the recoil in my hands. Um, you know, the, the gun's going to do what it's going to do um, and in my hands. So, all right, guys, so <laughs> the camera falls at the end, but, you know, just stay with it. It's going to be kind of a a little bit of a first impressions kind of video. So, all right, guys. So here we have the FN, and uh, I just put the tag light on there so it can make it look a little cool, um, because it is it is a cool gun. Um, you know, like first impressions as far as shooting wise, uh, but as far as first impressions, just by looking at this gun, it's a beast. It's it's a beautiful gun, very ergonomic uh, to a certain point. Um, just because my fat hands, I don't like the the thick safeties. Uh, they're a little too thick. I wish they were a little thinner. Uh, but it's it's a good gun uh, overall, and um, not too bad. I mean, I can live with it. You know, just I just wish it didn't have them so thick. If they were just a little thinner, it'd be good. But I like these safeties better than safeties that are mine and on the frame, like the Berettas. Um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of those, uh, but I can live with these, so that's not a big deal. Um, I did notice that I was I was uh I was ankle carrying this today. I actually put it in an ankle holster and I did find that this safety is so easy to take off safety um, which in a stressful situation I think you would want that but um, when I took it out of my ankle holster I realized it wasn't on safety and I had one in the chamber so hammer was down it's got a really long trigger pull I don't think anything would have happened but that's just something to keep in mind if you're gonna carry it in an ankle holster um, more than likely this might flip off so um, another thing that I didn't like about it and I'll get I'll get to the dislikes first um, and uh, is uh, how smooth this trigger is this trigger is really really smooth and I can tell you that um, in my experience today just first impressions kind of shooting um, this trigger it uh, 
it's really smooth so if, if you know wherever you grab your grip on your trigger um, and I'll show you here and I'll compare it you can see inside the, the trigger guard my finger isn't flat on the trigger on the, on the trigger uh, safety uh, not safety but uh, the trigger guard uh, my finger is more it slopes down at a steep angle to get to the bottom of the trigger where I like to hold so basically when I'm shooting this gun um, when I, it's got a, it pulls and if it breaks really far back I mean because the trigger is so thin it breaks really far back so what it's what it's doing is hurting is hurting me right here right on the corner of my trigger finger right there where my nail and my trigger finger are because it breaks so far back so when you break it you know your fingers right there and it's at an angle so I'm only catching the corner instead of catching it uh, flat like I would on my Glocks or my SIGs I, I like to catch it flat and uh, being that this trigger is so thin uh, that's that's one thing that I don't like about the SIG triggers uh, the ones that are really skinny um, my finger it hurts my finger when the gun jumps up your fingers pushing down so it catches on that little corner not a big deal but um, I do wish this trigger was thicker um, and another thing is the sights are not the way I'm used to shooting if you see compared to the sight of a Glock and I don't mean a, I don't mean to do a nothing fancy here and compare it to a Glock 17 but if you see the sights here the Glock are much lower okay forget the Glock the SIGs are lower too um, but this this blade is too big for me. As far as uh, the big dot there, it's got a it's got a big dot. You can see, uh, can't see it. Anyway, there's a big dot right there, and it's but the blade is a little too high for me. So what that does for me it, is it has too much play up and down. So as far as me being able to practice with it, I can get good and sharpshoot with this. But today I had a really bad day um, with the Glock or with the with the FN uh, here, the FNX, I had a bad day, but as far as the, the, the blade, I don't like really tall blades. And I was thinking of getting the FN Tactical with the threaded barrel, the 45, but now that I'm thinking about shooting high blades, I don't, I don't like them too much. I don't like high blades on, on pistols, so I'm probably not going to get it. And uh, But the good thing about this gun, and we'll get to good things... Um, is the ergonomics on it? Like I said, the ergonomics are really, really good. The magazines are really, really good. Metal magazines, you can fill these up. They don't rattle. Um, it comes with three magazines, so obviously they're giving you firepower. Everything ambidextrous, the trigger, the slide release, the safety, the hammer's ambidextrous. Uh, you can reach it over with, with both hands. So that's really good. The sights are ambidextrous. You can use your right or your left eye, so... If you're left eye dominant, the, the sights are good for you, uh, as well as right-handers. Um, it's just an all-around ambi gun. The only thing that isn't ambi is the trajectory of where your brass is going to go. Your brass will only go to the right. So that's one thing that isn't ambidextrous on this gun. Everything else is pretty much ambidextrous, except for the takedown lever. The takedown lever is on the, on the left, so that is an ambi, but more than likely this is going to serve a left-handed person really well and uh, I really would like to get my father-in-law out to shoot this because he is left-handed so I want to see how he would feel uh, shooting this so um, I did shoot this left-handed as well and um, I don't know how the, my, the way the way my grip was I I kind of caught the the slide release so it didn't it didn't slide back on the last round um, so that was that was on me though uh, not the gun but we're going to go out and shoot the gun again Saturday. As far as the trigger, where my trigger is, uh, the, my trigger finger, um, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to try to adjust it so that it's more towards the center and not so far down this way. So that is something that I could work on. Um, the sides are something that I could work on. Um, and uh, so, you know, the, the gripes that I have on this gun is more because I'm spoiled and... And I've really like shotguns a different way than I've shot this one. So um, I can change that. That's something that I can change. And uh, and I plan to do that, you know, to get good with this FN. 
X because I, I really do like it. So, all right, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I just uh, another thing is I shot. I do, I, I was a. Uh, I shot both of these, the Glock and the and the FN, side to side, and you can see that I do need work on my left-handed shooting because when I shoot, um, I like to use the reset and, and then pull from there, and on my left-handed, I was just uh, popping and letting go and popping and, you know, letting it go. And you can see that with my right hand, I was actually staging the the reset. Anyways, first impressions kind of video, more than a review. I, I don't do reviews, but first impressions. So this is not a review, and um, I don't know if there's anything that I missed uh, besides this gun is awesome, and that I can make this gun better by making myself better to the gun. That's just the way it works. Um, there, everything that I didn't like about the gun is because now I have to change my way of doing things to make this gun better for me so um, not really knocking the gun if you like the FNX and this is not a review like I said just the first impression because I do plan to shoot this gun a little more and uh, I do want to keep this in the arsenal so um, we'll see what happens and uh, alright guys so here's a little bit of uh, more shooting